Yeah. Let's bring in former House Speaker Newt Gingrich, also a Fox News contributor. It's interesting that Maggie Hassan, the Senate incumbent Democrat, would say that General Bolduc is such an extremist when it was Democrats, and we have this here, the Senate Majority Pack placed $3.2 million in attack ads of Democratic fundraising money to try to elect Don Bolduc because they said he was so extreme. Well, you know, it's interesting in terms of the hypocrisy of uh, President Biden's Philadelphia speech and his vicious, hateful attacks upon what he called MAGA Republicans. Democrats turned right around and in uh, several states have spent money trying to help nominate mm -hmm. uh, what we would call, you know, conservative or MAGA Republicans uh, purely as a political tactic, which makes you wonder if they're that afraid of them, how come they keep helping nominate them? But in, the big thing to me in New Hampshire was that both in that House race you reported on and in the Senate race, the anti-establishment candidate has done amazingly well, even with a lot less money. Mm -hmm. uh, the establishment candidate in the Senate race had over $4 million spent by an outside group trying to defeat uh, General Baldock, who, by the way, started in the Army as a private and worked his way up to being a general. And I think he built a huge statewide uh, grassroots network. And I think uh, Senator Hassan, in every poll, is the weakest Democrat in terms of re-election numbers in the entire country. So I think there's a very real likelihood that uh, General Baldock's going to be the next senator from New Hampshire. Wow. Uh, when she first won six years ago, I mean, it was a squeaker. Won by about 1,000 votes, as I recall. But Baldock's entire campaign was town halls. D do you believe New Hampshire, based on these results, is now stronger for Republicans or weaker? Well, I think the big thing is, is the larger reality that you were reporting on earlier. If you have food prices going up 15 percent, if you have inflation out of control, if you have the establishment answer to inflation putting Americans out of work and deliberately causing a recession, if you have the stock market uh, dropping over 1,000 points, uh, how does Senator Hassan go home and say this is working? And I think that, frankly, will outweigh virtually all of the Washington political chatter back home, whether it's crime in Philadelphia and Atlanta, or it is the problems of immigration in Arizona, or it is inflation everywhere in America. And remember, in New Hampshire, <clears throat> they start filling up their, heat, their fuel oil, heating oil tanks mm. in early October. When they get hit with a sticker shock from mm -hmm. what the Biden Democrats have done to the cost of heating oil, uh, I think that Senator Hassan is going to have an extraordinarily hard time winning. That's a very interesting point. So Good thank to see you. you. This morning, thank yeah. you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Newt Gingrich with us today. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. From Tucker Carlson tonight.